So how's it going guys? Today I'm here for another for another video, this time a tutorial video on how to fix the Dremel 3D Idea Builder. And by fix I mean unjam. Now most times the printer jams, uh, you could just use the unblock tool to push through any filament that got stuck. But in some cases, the jam is farther down or it's it's a lot more massive and you, you need you, you need to open the damn thing up and figure out what's causing the blockage. So I contacted customer support and they had sent me a list of instructions on how to do the whole thing and I thought I would make a video to make it easier for you guys to follow along. So now the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the filament because me, I always tend to leave the filament inside, I'm sure other people do that. But what you're going to want to do is, get, is take it out so it's not in the way. So, I'm back guys. Now I set the printer to unload the filament and it's almost done. It's about, it's at 96%. So it's simple, you go to the options, click unload. I'm sure you guys know how to do this. And once it's unloaded, well, once the printer will sing and it plays music to, to, to alert you that it's safe to unload, which will be in a few seconds, uh, right here. Then you push down on the lever right here, and you pull out the filament. So in your case, you already have tried this. Okay, little side note. Sometimes if you pull, it's not going to want to come out. What you do in this case is push down so that the filament starts coming out. Then you know that, it, that the filament is sort of making a funnel shape. And once it's pushed down, pull back out, and out it'll come super easily. So once that's done, Roll up the spool. You can leave it in there. It's not going to get in the way. There we go. Once it's in there, uh, now what you have to do is go back to the main menu and let it cool down so that you don't burn yourself while, doing, while in this process. If you look at the top right corner on the screen, it will say what temperature the extruder tip is at. So, see you guys once it's cooled down. So, now that your 3D printer is down to a regular temperature, back down to its main, its normal temperature, you can tell because the fan here stopped spinning. So once it's down to its temperature, you need to turn it off, just to be sure nothing happens. So turn off the printer. Nothing wrong, put some light. There we go. So once the printer's off, now we get to disassembling it. First of all, we don't want to unscrew these two little screws at the bottom. So find a tool, and there may be a key, and unscrew the tiny little screws. So, first one. And the second one. Now the whole front plate here should come off. I'll first try to grab the screw out. There we go. Worst case, use a pair of needle nose pliers just to grab it. There we go. Now be sure to keep those screws in place or you're not going to lose them. They are very important. And now the cooling system. And the fan. The fan, just leave it hanging. Now if you look here, you will see the front panel right here. So this panel here, look at it from front, from up front, and you'll see where the filament passes through. So it goes in through here, through the top part here, comes down between these two gears. If you see a big piece just jammed there, because it goes back up, through, and back down, if you see a big piece jammed there, just take pli take a pair of pliers and pull it out. That, that That's probably your jam. Now there's another possibility of the jam, and this one is a little more elaborate. So this one is in the heating element itself, this part right here. Sorry, I'm flipping you off. 
this part right here. And that's a bigger problem. Sorry about that. So what you're gonna have to do is move it over and then you see where the filament goes in, this weird hole thing. Now mine's clean because my printer isn't jammed, I'm just showing you guys. But if ever yours, if you see a blockage, if you don't see a hole, that means that's your problem. And to fix that, you're gonna have to turn the printer back on. Now the safe way to do this is to make sure nothing gets in its way, like nothing blocks. So try putting the main pieces back on. Alright, and in, in our case, unplug the front fan. So grab this little plug here, sorry, this little plug here, and unplug it. So just pull, there we go. And put it off to the side where you'll remember. Now, balance this big huge piece there and try not to move it. And turn the printer back on. So, turn it back on. Now it will automatically home, so I'm just going to hold it, hold down this part here. Homing means it'll go back to its initial position. Let me just bring it back to where it was before. So now you're going to want to go to preheat function. There's a function on the, on the screen that's preheat. Go in tools and preheat. Now once it gets to its full, full temperature, I'm not going to do it because I don't need to and I don't want to damage anything. But once it gets to its uh, full temperature, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to take something, I, I use a paper clip, and just push the piece that's jamming right through, and it'll go through without a problem. So then once that's done, well, your, pr your printer's on jam. Be sure not to touch it because it gets hot. And once that's done, your printer is unjammed, and you can start reassembling. So I'm going to do that with you guys right now. So now these spacers here go on the cooling element, like this. And you can pass your screws through the whole assembly. So your screws go through the fan, like this. Just pass one through, pass the other through. Now pass. No, don't drop the screw. Don't be a dummy like I am. Pass the screw. And now you can put the cool, you can put the separators on first if you want. Or try to put the whole thing on. And then slip it back on like this. Sorry, I said the, the flat part has to face you. That's wrong. It's the other way around. Like this. So this is the flat part. That's the riveted part. And then you pass this through the block and it will sandwich against it like this. Now you see the screws are sticking out just barely. That's normal. You have to screw them back in. Alright, alright. So now you're gonna test it. So you're gonna pass something through and try printing a small small something. So I'm going to repass my filament through. It's almost done, a few seconds. So yeah. Once the piss off, I guess at this point you could technically just put it in and put it in, there we go. So now, put it in so you can feel the gears grabbing onto it. See, I felt the gears grabbing onto it. Then press next, and it should take it in by itself. You can check with your fingers, make sure it's taking anything. And there we go, out comes the filament. There's the filament. All right, so I'm back. I got my completely taped up tablet with two layers. Remember, the two layers, and this is why I damage your plate. Slide it back into the bottom rail. That's really not clear. There we go. And then, all right. So I had printed a small, uh, small like king chess piece. Uh, then my sister got a hold of it. My little baby sister. If you guys watched my previous video, you saw you see her. Uh, my, my little baby sister got a hold of it and threw it around, the cross on the top broke. So I thought, look, let's print another one. So now I'm going to unload it because I want my I want my piece to be silver. So I'm going to unload the blue, wait for it to heat up. No, 97. So yeah, we're pretty much done. A few seconds now. So like I said last time, technically you could just do it now. I like to wait because, you know, I said I'm not patient before. I guess I have enough patience for this crap. 
But there we go, now it's done. So like I said the first time, push, push down a little, and you can push back up. And mine came out not too dirty, which is good. I'm trying to remember to clip it this time. There we go. I'll roll it back up. Take up the clip here. Take up the whole roll. You know, roll blue, Dremel blue. Very nice. Load in the color you want. Now remember, I want you guys to do this too. I want you guys to test it, make sure that it actually works. Which I have no doubt you are because your printer's probably been jammed for a while and you're excited to print more stuff. All right, so now what I tend to do, which is probably not the best thing, I tend to just leave it at unload and just load it back in because it's hot enough too. And it works, it works fine, but I think that's what caused my printer to jam last time because it's not supposed to jam. But, yeah, so it, it technically works, you know? Yeah, there's the filament. But I don't recommend it. So, it's done, you have a little filament, but as you can tell, my printer is working just fine, even though it was never jammed to start with, but it's always a good idea to test it. So I hope this video helped you guys in some sort of way. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more videos. So, peace!